Howdy. Corey Jensen, Wind Power Sports, Las Vegas, Nevada, baby. Winds died down a little bit this afternoon. We got a few moments to go over some of the details. Right now, we're going to use the lark's head to attach the flying lines to the bridle of the kite. In the old days, there were clips and swivels, but all of that weight out on the tip of the bridle is not a good deal, and they become abrasion points. Now, flying lines, these happen to be a sleeved pair, end in a loop. Here on the bridle of the kite is what's called the pigtail, and it's a piece of line that sticks out, has a small knot right on the end. Now, these lines are color-coded. There's a small black mark on one, and that denotes the left line. So I'm going to use the right line on the right side of my kite. With that loop, you fold it over and make the lark's head knot. Insert the pigtail through the lark's head, pull the lark's head tight, and slip it up right behind the knot, and that tension will hold it for the rest of the day. Now, I've tied little tiny loops right at the end of my sleeves on the loops so that I have something that I can easily grab a hold of at the end of the day in order to remove my lines. This is the end of my flying line, and it ends with a loop. And at the end of the loop, I've tied a small knot, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Fold this loop back over on itself, usually with the thumb and the forefinger inside, and that creates what's called a lark's head. The pigtail at the end of the bridle has a knot at the end, and that goes through the lark's head, and then the lark's head is pulled tight and snugged up right behind the knot. To remove the line at the end of the day, that's why I've tied this little knot at the end of my loop. Some of my friends don't have fingernails. This is real handy for them.